Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Bitcoin has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Bitcoin hourly time frame, the price moved only slightly to the downside with around 0.3% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 40,125. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA. The 50 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 40,292. For longer price development, the daily time frame should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Searching for divergence in the hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means the price could go up from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Jumping to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 40,462. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA, which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. Looking for divergence in the three hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means we can expect the price going up or at least to remain stable for some time. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 41,456. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so it should be waited to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. Jumping to the daily MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, Keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. See you ne